Blake is now playing the camera mule using all suspension with the extra weight. I rode the last generation smuggler in 2019. Back yeah. then, it was interesting to say the least. Living in Colorado, I felt the bike was disconnected and heavy. The 140 Fox 36 just didn't match the 120 frame and the shock couldn't keep up with the rocks. It also weighed more than my patrol at the time. However, I found the idea really cool. And the 475 reach and 66 degree head tube angle made for a fun bike on smoother trails. A short travel bike that could be ridden hard, like the Smuggler, was ahead of its time. Before we get too far into this, please just hit that subscribe button and like the video. I got to ride the Smuggler in the Carbon GX build. I generally like transitions builds, and this is no different. While the NX shifter feels a little cheap, it worked fine with the mostly GX drivetrain. The real benefit was the rest of the build. For a bike like this, the SRAM Code R brakes are up to the task. The cockpit also doesn't require any upgrades. It has a good wide bar with some rise, comfortable enough saddle and grips, and on this steed you get the 210 dropper post. My Spire in the size large came with a 180. Ugh. Wheels are also up to snuff, with proper Maxxis rubber, especially for this style bike. The Askai is always a welcome front, and the Dissector makes sense as a little speedier rear tire. Finally, the suspension. With 27% progressivity, I ran the shock about 25% sag and never felt any bottom. The fork was a little different. At 15% sag, I still bottomed the front end of the bike a few times. I'm probably riding terrain that's a bit above the everyday use, but it was still pretty harsh. Luckily, you can drop in some volume reducers. Or if you have a bit more cash, an upgraded damper may be nice. All in all, it's a good build for the money, and I love the color. I'll throw up some geo specs for a size large right now, but long and short of it is the Smuggler has a 65 degree head tube, 78.1 degree effective seat tube, and a reach of 485. This makes for a comfortable climb as well as a confident descent. All right, out here today riding the new Transition Smuggler. I'm gonna see how this thing climbs and get you a quick review. Cruising up some nice single track now, not bad. All these new bikes just climb so well and with a bit less travel, a little bit less weight, it's definitely noticeable compared to my current long-term bike, the Transition Spire. So really enjoying this climb. We're in like the heat of summer here in the Northwest. Days have been getting up to almost 90. Yeah, it's nice to have something a little bit less arduous to get up the hills. Got some gnarly switchbacks coming up here pretty quick. See how it does. Oh man, it's loose around this one. Not bad though. We got Blake, Bailey, and Vanessa down there. This is definitely the tightest switchback. We'll see if I can get it in one try or if I have to try it again. There we go. Wow. That one. That one's hard. Whew. But. Still going uphill. Popping out into the sun. That is not a friendly switchback or rock feature. Definitely notice the bike's pretty maneuverable over those techie spots. Steep switchback, not the tightest though. Ooh, I'm gonna be breathing hard here as I get more and more sun. We do have some forest fires, so it's not as sunny as it's been, but definitely still hot coming up on the other hard switchbacks. These ones partially because it's just so loose. Breeze off the ocean though. That is 
just what I need. Climbing thoughts. As usual, this is based mostly on perceived efficiency, traction, and switchbacks. It's hard to do better than less travel and weight for climbing. While the Smuggler is not the lightest bike in its category, I'd say it still climbs as well as the Trek Top Fuel and has a touch more traction. That also doesn't take away from the bike's enthusiasm when you're going uphill. Finally, the body position is more of a trail or enduro bike as opposed to a full XC bike, and at least for me, that's a positive. On switchbacks, the shorter wheelbase makes things significantly easier as opposed to a full enduro bike. I think that means the transition smuggler gets A's across the board for climbing. The efficiency is definitely on par with my track fuel, and I'm not noticing any lack of traction either, so it's been great. I'll see how it keeps riding, but so far, so good. And now we get to get into the fun stuff. Just chasing Blake down. Oh! <laughs> Two more. <laughs> Descending the bike followed the now tried and true transition formula of being fun and playful. Its 130 millimeters of travel had good traction off the top and a mid-stroke that was supported in turns and felt light on its feet. I was surprised to find the Smuggler felt solid even under aggressive bottom outs or fast burns that would make other bikes wince. I mentioned in the beginning that the original Smuggler felt disconnected. This is a much more balanced bike, but if anything, the new frame outperforms the spec for it. If I were riding this bike hard, I may opt for a Fox 36. Well, I gotta say, I am surprised at what this bike can handle. I may have done some stuff on it that most people wouldn't, but no. loose today. Definitely don't have everything on it that I usually can ride, but you know, sometimes you're just trying to bike out. So who's the smuggler for? Trail is a broad category of bike. If your idea of trail includes black diamond climbs but leans more towards blue descents, this is a trail bike. I'd struggle to call it a trail bike for some of the trails around here or in Colorado, but if your idea of trails tend to be more smooth and fast, then the Smuggler just may be the bike for you. Sometimes it's more about the terrain you prefer and what your everyday trail realistically looks like. If you have a Spire or another similar Enduro level bike, Whoa. it would also make a great companion to that bike. For me, this is what my everyday ride looks like, along with some shuttles and bike park. So I'm gonna stick with the Spire for now. And we're back. Thank you to Transition for the awesome demo.
And if you like the video, hit that subscribe, hit that like button.